Yo guys and welcome back to Tech Genie. Now today I'm bringing you a brand new video of our first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy S8. So without any further ado guys, let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, so first things first, I do want to talk about the introduction of the new screens on these phones and the kind of removal of the S7 Edge. So you may have noticed that the screens are these kind of new infinity kind of edge to edge displays, similar to what they had on the S7 Edge. Having said that, they've removed the S7 Edge or the S8 Edge completely and now they've only got the S8 and the S8 Plus. Okay, so the S8 comes with a 5.2 inch curved display and the S8 Plus comes with a 6.2 inch curved display. Having said that though, both of the resolutions of the displays are exactly the same. There's 2960 by 1440 display. So even though they've got the same resolutions, you can't really tell the difference between the displays because they've got this new HDR color display that they've got on their phones and I'm going to be honest it looks absolutely amazing from what I've seen in terms of their press release. Okay so moving on from the screens I want to talk about hardware. So you may have noticed that Samsung have decided to go full out and remove the home button from their phone. This is kind of interesting because this is what we think is going to happen with the iPhone 8 but we'll have to wait and see what they do there. But Samsung have completely removed it and they've replaced it with a virtual button and when you click it you get a bit of haptic feedback similar to force touch that you do on the iPhone 7s. Now of course with the removal of the home button this does mean you've got a large display on the phone and even though you don't have to see the virtual home button all the way through the phone if you do just click in that place where the home button should be it should go back to the home screen. So even though this is going to take a bit of getting used to I do think in the long run it's going to be really quite useful having a larger display that kind of feels more edge to edge than it did beforehand. Okay, so with the new S8, we have got the incorporation of a new way of unlocking your phone. Now this may be because they've had to move the thumbprint scan onto the back of the phone, and this is because they have removed the home button, so there's no way of really doing it on the front of the phone. So that's now on the back, and obviously they've introduced a new method. Now this new method is iris scanning slash face scanning, and it's said to be secure, but not as secure as your thumbprint scanner and all of course your passcode unlock. Now having said that, it is blazingly quick, all you have to do is lift up your phone and it just basically scans your face and you're into the phone immediately. Having said that, if you get people that look pretty similar like me and my brother, we look identical, we are identical twins, I would like to see how it's going to face up to two people looking pretty much identical. That will be really interesting to see because people have said it's not the most secure method of unlocking your phone. Okay, so with the S8 and the S8 Plus, we have got the battery life that I wanted to talk about. Now we've got the 3000 milliamp hour battery in the S8 and the 3500 milliamp hour in the S8 Plus. Now they haven't gone full out on battery life. This may be something to do with the Note 7 blowing up last year, but I'm not sure. So even though they've only got 3000 and 3500 battery life for the S8 and S8 Plus respectively, I am going to say that it's going to be pretty good battery life and I wouldn't be expecting anything less than what you've had on the S7. So with the S8 and the S8 Plus you've got the traditional Samsung ip 68 waterproof throughout the whole phone. You've got the headphone jack still and of course you've got expandable storage. So Samsung have decided to keep the rear facing camera from the S7 and just leave it on the S8 but they have apparently introduced some new improved image processing. Now having said that even though the camera hasn't been changed the camera last year was pretty incredible so I wouldn't be expecting anything worse than you had last year and there wasn't really much need to update it. Having said that though Samsung have decided to go ahead and update their front facing camera we've now got an 8 megapixel front facing camera that has autofocus. Now with these two cameras I do want to talk about the big new feature that Samsung introduced. They've introduced their new virtual assistant, it's called Bixby, and it could look really cool, either that or it could go down the kind of gimmicky route and no one's really going to use it. So basically what Bixby is, is this new virtual kind of assistant, similar to kind of Siri. So the aim behind Bixby was Samsung wanted you to go ahead and use your phone exactly the same as you usually would, but instead of touching it and poking it with your fingers, they wanted you to be able to utilise voice control. Now Bixby, this new virtual assistant, has got a couple of cool features. What they've shown us and what people have said is that you can go around and you can scan things using the camera. So for example, if I found a camera lens or I found a phone or a watch, something like that, I could scan it and it would go ahead and it would search through the whole internet and it would find me similar looking items, if not the same one, and where I could go ahead and buy them. So that could be a really quite cool feature. Now Samsung have decided to put a whole new button to introduce Bixby into their phone. You hold down the side button on the phone and there we go, Bixby pops up. Okay, so that is basically it. We've got the new virtual assistant called Bixby. We've got IP68 waterproofing. You've got the 3000 milliamp hour and the 3500 milliamp hour on the S8 and the S8 Plus respectively. You've got this new infinity curved edge to edge display with a 5.2 inch on the S8 and the 6.5 inch. And of course you've got the new front facing camera with the 8 megapixel auto focusing. So that is basically it from us today guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. Let us know what's your favorite feature about the S8. So we hope to see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching. Live long and prosper.